and Bitcoin soared to a two-year high near $55,000 on February 26, buoyed by the continued demand from the spot Bitcoin exchange-traded funds. CoinShares data shows that institutional investors paused $570 million into Bitcoin investment products over the past seven days. And uh, Bitcoin ETFs have seen inflows of more than $5 billion in net assets under management since their launch. Uh, while well, gold ETFs have seen outflows of $3.6 billion during the, the same period, according to a February 26 research report shared on Next by senior Bloomberg analyst Eric Balchunas and associate analyst Andre Yap. The analysts expect Bitcoin ETFs AUM to overtake that of gold ETFs in the next two years. And Bitcoin strength is likely to uplift the mood in crypto space, benefiting select altcoins. However, as Bitcoin approaches its all-time high, the risk of a pullback cannot be ruled out as the bears try to make one last-ditch attempt to stop the rally. Uh, making only an existing making me could those Bitcoin bulls. It can process the entire level's radio tent short-term traders to book profits. I'm going to analyze this one, find out. And the S&P 500 index skyrocketed above the 5,048 resistance on February 22nd, indicating the resumption of the uptrend. Although the upsloping moving averages indicate an advantage to buyers, a negative divergence on the relative strength index suggests that the uptrend may be losing steam. Uh, the 20-day exponential moving average remains the crucial level to watch out for on the downside. Um, if this support cracks, the, the index may descend to the 50-day simple moving average, 4,857. Instead, if the index continues higher, it will invalidate the negative divergence. The failure of the negative pattern generally results in a sharp up move. The index could then continue to rise to 5,200. And when and again, the bears yanked the U.S. dollar index below the 20-day EMA 103 on February 22nd, but the long tail on the candlestick shows aggressive buying at the neckline of the inverse head and shoulders pattern. The Fidesz 20 day EMA and the RSI near the midpoint do not give a clear advantage either to the bulls or the bears. If the price rises and sustains to above the 20 day EMA, the bulls will try to drive the index above 105. If they do that, the rally could reach 107. On the other hand, if the price continues lower from the current level, uh, it will suggest that the bears are trying to make a comeback the index could then slide to the 50-day uh, SMA, a bounce off this level could keep the index inside a range for some time. Uh, on Bitcoin broke above the $53,000 overhead resistance on February 26 after consolidating in a tight range for the past several days. This suggests that bulls remain in control. If buyers sustain the price above $53,000, the BTC-USDT pair is likely to pick up momentum and soar towards $60,000, where the bears are again expected to mount against the good. So all those goods, the sever layers of support uh, on the downside, um, if 50,500 breaks down, uh, the bulls will try to arrest the decline at the 20-day EMA, and then the breakout level of $48,970. The bears will have to tug the price below $48,970 to indicate the start of a deeper correction to the 50-day SMA. This um, Ether surged above the $3,036 resistance on February 25th, signaling the start of the next leg of the uptrend. Uh, the upsloping moving averages indicate that bulls are in command, but the overbought zone on the RSI suggests a minor correction or consolidation is possible. If buyers do not allow the price to sustain below $3,000, the likelihood of a rally to $3,300 and then to $3,540 increases. The first sign of weakness will be a break and close below the 20-day EMA. That will indicate aggressive profit booking by the traders. The East USDT pair could there then clunge to $2,717 and subsequently to the 50-day SMA.
Uh, BNB is trying to resume its uptrend, but the overbought level on the RSI suggests that the bears may pose a strong challenge near the overhead resistance at $400. If the price turns down from the current level, but rebounds off the 20-day EMA, it'll suggest that the sentiment remains bullish. That'll enhance the prospects for a break above $400. The BNB USDT pair may then rally to $460. Because uh, contrarily, if the price continues lower and breaks below the 20-day EMA, it will suggest that the bulls are aggressively booking profits. Uh, that could sink the pair to the 50-day SMA, uh, a break below this level, if most of it will tilt the advantage in favor of the bears. XRP has been trading near the moving averages for the past few days, indicating uncertainty about the next directional move. And the flattish moving averages in the RSI just below the midpoint suggest a possible range-bound action uh, in the near term and the boundaries of the range could be 48 cents the downside and 58 cents on the upside and uh, buyers will have to drive and maintain the price above 58 cents to indicate that the correction may be over the XRP uh, USDT pair could then uh, attempt a rally to 67 cents and eventually uh, to 74 cents uh, the support on the downside is at 48 cents and then 46 cents. Uh, Solana is finding uh, support at the 50-day um, SMA, $100, uh, indicating that the bulls are trying to arrest the decline. Uh, the flattish moving averages and the RSI near the midpoint uh, suggest a range-bound action uh, in the near term. Uh, buyers will have to push and maintain uh, the price above the downtrend line to start a rally to the overhead resistance zone between 119 and 127 dollars. Um, if this zone is surmounted, the up move may reach 135 dollars. Uh, um, on the contrary, if the price turns down from the current level or the downtrend line and breaks below the 50-day SMA, um, it will suggest that the bears are selling on rallies. So the SOL USDT pair could then plummet to $80, okay? Um, and the bulls managed to protect the 20-day EMA in Cardano, indicating that the sentiment remains positive. And the, the bulls are, are gradually rising 20-day EMA, uh, and the RSI in the positive territory uh, show that the, the, the bulls have a, have a slight, day, uh, slight edge. Uh, buyers will try to kick the price to the overhead resistance zone between 64 and 68 cents. Uh, contrary to this assumption, if the 80 USDT pair turns down sharply and breaks below the 20-day EMA, it will indicate that the bulls have given up. Uh, that could start a correction to the 50-day SMA. So we don't know anywhere back in order any An avalanche bounced off the 50-day SMA, $36.12 on February 24th, indicating that lower levels are attracting buyers. And the flattish moving averages in the RO sign near the midpoint do not give a clear advantage either to the buyers or the sellers. If the price turns down and having breaks below the 50-day SMA, the AVAX USDT pair could descend to $32. And alternatively, a break in close above the 20-day EMA could open the doors for a possible rally to the overhead resistance of $42. The bulls will have to overcome this barrier to signal the completion of an inverse H&S pattern. The bulls successfully defended the breakout level uh, from the triangle, but failed to propel Dogecoin above the 09 cents um, overhead resistance, um, and this indicates a lack of demand uh, at higher levels. Um, but the bears will try to gain the upper hand by pulling the price below the moving averages. Um, if they succeed, the Doji USDT pair could drop to the uptrend line. This is an important level for the bulls to defend because if they fail in their endeavor, the pair could start a downward move to 10 7 cents and the bulls will have to drive and maintain the price above nine cents to indicate the start of a new up move 
the pair put surge to the 10 cents to dollar 15 cents resistance zone where the bears are likely to mount a strong defense